Hi there, I'm Oliver, and I'm going to be taking you through this short tutorial on using cameras in VideoScribe for your browser. So I'm going to be showing you how to control your camera movements, zoom in and out of your elements, and pan across your project for some really dynamic animations. So when you first start your project, there will already be a camera on the canvas. This is your starting camera. So you can see here I've got my camera one on the canvas and C1 on the timeline. So this is automatically set. So this determines what's in view when your video starts. So camera one cannot be moved or deleted from your timeline because you always need to have at least one camera on your canvas. So each camera can be resized and repositioned. So you can click the corners on the camera box to resize it like this. And you can drag the box around to change the camera's position. Depending on the aspect ratio that you've chosen uh, when you started your project, uh, this will determine the aspect ratio of all your cameras. So you can see here that I've chosen the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so all of my cameras will be in this rectangular shape. To add a camera, select the camera button on the left-hand panel. So if you've got nothing selected, your camera will just be added to the canvas at the very end of the timeline. If you have an element selected, the camera will be positioned before that element on the timeline, so the element is in view when that camera takes place on your timeline. Let's adjust this camera to zoom in on the park image that I've got on the canvas here. So we can do this just by shrinking the camera box so that it's a bit smaller than camera one. And if we preview now just to see what it looks like, You can see that now I've created the motion of the camera zooming in on our park image. So camera two is that final camera position where it's zoomed in. So let's try adding another camera view to this scribe. So you can use the zoom in and out controls on the canvas to get a better view of everything in your project. Let's do that now just so that we can see everything here. So now let's try adding a new camera and then positioning it onto our beach image just along here. So it's the same size as my camera too, so that we don't zoom in or out at all. But the new position, the new camera position means that the camera will now move across the screen towards that beach image. If we just preview now. You can see the camera moving across to that final position on the beach image. So the final thing to say about cameras is that you have your camera settings when you have a camera selected on the timeline. So you can see here we have the camera movement type. So this is basically how smoothly your camera will move during its animation. You've got the duration. So this is how long the actual camera movement will take place. So you can increase this for a slower camera transition. The pause time. So if you want to hold on the camera view for a few seconds before the next animation takes place. And then we also have the lock and pin controls down here for if you want to keep your camera locked in position whilst you edit the rest of your project. So using multiple cameras is a great way to create smooth transitions between sections of your video and highlighting important information in a really dynamic way. So that's pretty much it for today. That's the full guide on using cameras in VideoScribe for your browser. So with these simple techniques, you can really control the flow of your animation and make your video that much more engaging.